she was intensely sympathetic. She was immensely charming. She was utterly unselfish. She excelled in the difficult arts of family life. She sacrificed herself daily. But preferred always to sympathize with the minds and wishes of others. Above all, I need not say it, she was pure. Her purity was supposed to be her chief beauty, her blushes, her great grace. In those days, the last of Queen Victoria, every house had its angel. You cannot review even a novel without having a mind of your own, without expressing what you think to be true about human relations, morality, and sex. And all these questions, according to the angel in the house, cannot be dealt with freely and openly by women. They must charm, they must conciliate, they must, to put it bluntly, tell lies if they are to succeed.